A taxpayer's financial gains are generally classified as either ordinary income or capital gains. The distinction is significant because there are different tax rates and rules for each. In Hudson v. Commissioner, we explore the requirements for capital gains classification. In 1929, Mary Mallory Harahan won a court judgment against Howard Cole for approximately $75,700. Upon Harahan's subsequent death, the judgment, which had yet to be paid, passed to Harahan's beneficiaries under her will. In 1943, Galvin Hudson and Hillsman Taylor purchased the judgment from those beneficiaries for $11,004. After the purchase, Hudson and Taylor each owned a 50% interest in the judgment. Two years later, Cole paid Hudson and Taylor $21,150 in full settlement of the judgment against him. On their 1945 tax returns, Hudson and Taylor each reported their profits from the judgment settlement as long-term capital gains. But the Commissioner of Internal Revenue objected to that classification, finding that the profits were taxable as ordinary income. The Commissioner, therefore, assessed deficiencies in Hudson's and Taylor's income tax. Hudson and Taylor challenged the Commissioner's determination in the United States Tax Court. 